Well, millions of Americans will look up into the sky next week to witness the rare total solar eclipse. Well, scientists will also be focused on the sky using the configuration of the moon for a unique opportunity to study our sun. NASA is going to send two specially outfitted planes into the stratosphere with instruments on board for five different experiments. NBC News national climate reporter Chase Kane went to NASA's Johnson Space Center for a closer look. NASA mechanics make their final checks on one of the two planes which will chase the eclipse to study our sun. Piloting this WB-57, Tom Parent will never forget his first time flying through an eclipse. We've got the uh, eye protection on just like, you know, everybody's on the ground, right? They've got the little uh, paper glasses and stuff. And once it went to totality, <laughs> as I look up, it's like, oh, I can't see anything. Well, of course, it was in totality. So I realized, yeah, I've got to take my visor off. Then it was uh, pretty fantastic to, to look at that for a couple minutes. NASA uses this plane for its experiments in part because it's tried and true. The WB-57 has been around since the 50s, but also because it can fly at 60,000 feet, well above any clouds, and also above about 90% of the Earth's atmosphere so that's not getting in the way of these experiments. It's really hard to measure the sun in midwave infrared from the ground because our atmosphere absorbs that light. Amir Caspi is a solar astrophysicist whose instrument, Sammy, will be tucked into the nose of this plane. Sammy will focus on our sun's atmosphere, the corona, an approach he pioneered during the last total eclipse. Back when I did this in 2017, this was a crazy idea. We didn't know if it was going to work. We didn't know what we would get. And uh, it was nail biting for quite some time. And then we got amazing data. I could see it coming down off the live satellite feed. And of course, we're using a new instrument that's more capable and is able to get us a richer set of data, a richer set of observations. One goal this year to learn why the corona is millions of degrees hotter than the surface of the sun. Another, understanding the origin of solar winds, which can impact satellites, airplanes, and even our power grids here on Earth. And that's just one of five experiments on board these two planes, which will each have only about six minutes to seize this rare opportunity. Yeah, that's that pressure, unfortunately, is for kind of every kind of mission that we fly. Um, so we, we don't ever take things lightly. Like people put their lives works into these things and we don't want to mess it up for them, right? A total solar eclipse is like nature's perfect coronagraph. The moon comes between us and the sun and it's exactly the right size in the sky to block out the disk of the sun, but not too much more. You know, we've been studying the sun for quite a long time. We still have a lot of open questions. At NASA's Johnson Space Center, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane. And be sure to tune into our special Total Eclipse Countdown to History. It is airing on NBC News Now tonight at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, and that will continue throughout the week. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.